Well, hello loves, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Today, decorate with me here in my dining room area. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing here today, just keep on watching. So right now we're gonna set this table for Christmas. This will be my Christmas tablescape in my dining room. I'm gonna keep things simple. It's not gonna be so, so glam. It's gonna be a little, shall I say, rustic <laughs> with a little touch of glam. <laughs> Just these wheels in my head is turning here. So we're gonna see how it works out. I love keeping a tray in the center of this round table. This tray I picked up from Home Goods. These placemats I've had for several years now, they came from Hobby Lobby, as well as this deer I've had for many, many years. And I cannot recall where I got him from, but he is part of the family here. I've had him for a while. Now these candlesticks also came from Hobby Lobby. These glass beaded chargers are from E Favor Mart. I love using these. These are so pretty, so simple, so elegant to me. Next, we're going to add these plates, these dinner plates that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, I think at 75% off last year. And they do have them again this year. Now I'm going to add these napkins, cloth napkins that I picked up from Aldi. Let's add some stemware that's very inexpensive from Dollar Tree. And this is how my tablescape looks so far. I'm bringing in these beautiful candles that I picked up from Michaels, I think last year. Oh, I wish I could find another set or two. I ended up moving these candles and candle holders to my buffet. <laughs> I just thought I would like them there better. And in the candlesticks place, I'm placing these two 
beautiful trees I picked up last year. <laughs> you getting it, guys? I shop off season from Home Goods. Now I needed something in this corner of my dining room because it sat empty. And yes, I pulled out another Christmas tree. One of my king of Christmas Christmas trees. And on this tree, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. This is a seven foot prince flocked tree. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep it simple. I also placed or remove the tree collar on my living room tree and placed it on this tree and I like it here so so much better here are all the items that I have sitting here I want this tree full of ornaments only all right this is gonna be an ornament tree Just sharing with you how I attach the ornaments. I use floral wire. That way I can get these as tight as I want to to the tree. Any position that I want. I can work this so, so much better than a ornament hook. I started off placing a bunch of gold ornaments on the tree of different uh, textures and it was beautiful. So after adding the gold, I took a trip to Hobby Lobby. I think the tree needed a little more, <laughs> little color. And I wanted to add some brown and some green ornaments. Those light green ornaments I'm not feeling at the moment. And the red I can use elsewhere. I also picked up this pack as well. And I love this other than that light green. A light green is throwing me off a bit so I did not use those. And after adding all the ornaments on the tree, I'm going to add these picks to the top to create a topper. These are picks that I already had on hand that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And this is how the topper looks with those picks. I did have two brown poinsettia picks that I wanted to use, so I used them as a topper as well. But I'm loving this tree full of ornaments of gold, brown, and green.
Now I've been working on my bar cart here in my dining room and just wanted to add a piece on this dispenser. And that is this beautiful wreath that I picked up from Marshall's. It's by Rachel Zoe. She has wreaths, Christmas trees, garland, that is absolutely beautiful. But I just snagged this wreath. I wanted to give it a pop of glam. <laughs> Now I want to position this dispenser just right so the spout of it or the wreath will not interfere with the spout of the dispenser. And lastly on my buffet I have these swags I have two of them that I've had for many, many years. I picked these up from Family Dollar. I can guarantee you about 10 years ago. <laughs> they are beautiful. They still look good. But I'm going to create somewhat of a centerpiece for my buffet by just adjoining them together, right? They have pine cone. They have a little fern on them. They have different pieces on here, and I'm not gonna do a thing to it, all right? I'm gonna leave it as is. Now I'm adding to this my beautiful gold reindeer that I picked up from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. I'm working the swag around the feet of these reindeer. I have two. Now at first I had them facing away from each other, but then decided to turn them towards one another and I love it so much more.
So let me show you around my dining room for Christmas 2023. Let me share with you where some of these items came from around my bar cart area. The wall art came from Ross. It was a recent purchase. These glass candle holders were a thrifted find, but the candles, the Christmas candles from Michael's, I just recently purchased them and shame on me, I did not take the wrap off of them. <laughs> The gold tray holding my mugs, I already had the mugs itself. They came from Dollar General um, or Pop Shelf is what you call it. I bought those, I think a year or so ago. The dispenser again from Walmart, the wreath from Marshalls. The glass pedestal was also a thrifted find. And I think that is it for the top shelf of this bar cart. The bottom of this bar cart, bottom shelf, to the right are these trees that I already had. I've had them for many, many years. The tree picture was a My Texas How Home, excuse me, picture that I recently purchased. The three containers and tray from Home Goods, this tiered stand from Marshalls. And the bar cart itself is from Amazon. I will have that linked in my description box below. Now over here on my buffet, I forgot to mention these beautiful lamps. They are from Amazon. I will also have them linked below. They come as a set of two. They have a USB, which I absolutely love, <laughs> but they're gorgeous.
Now the buffet itself was a thrifted find as well. Did not come like this. I flipped it, I painted it, and put new hardware on it, and it is beautiful to me. Very heavy piece, and lots of storage. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and have gained some inspiration from it if you are new here welcome to the channel I'm so glad that you are here and I hope you decide to stay by clicking that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel double click it so you'll be notified of everything that goes on here at a blessed home with Kimberly Davis I can be followed on other social media sites Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and I have an Amazon store where you can shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week for beautiful home decor, home essentials, personal items, and more. All of those links can be found in my description box below. And if you are a faithful and returning ABH family member, you already know how I feel about you. I love you guys so, so much, and I am truly blessed that you are a part of our amazing family. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I'll see you on the very next video. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there, and I'll talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.